and I bring in all the wishes and greetings from all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Rakesh Gar for scoring uh, rank number two both in AML and also in CML. Uh, in speciality of DM endocrinology. In ESS session, November 2022. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Great. So, can we uh, know your brief background history of where you started from till date? Sir, I have done my MBBS from PJMS Rothbuck. I have done my MD medicine from PJMS Rothbuck. I passed in sir, July 2021. So, then after completion of my MD, I started for preparation of my DM endocrinology exam, sir. So, uh, why DM endocrinology? Because these are special, uh, I mean, uh, specialities where there are specific emotions and passions are attached. Only then people do that. I mean, how you developed it, who motivated you to do so? Sir, during my post-graduation training, sir, I have worked under Dr. Rajesh Rajput, sir, who, who is DM endocrinologist. So, in our institute, sir, uh, along with doing uh, post-graduation in medicine, I have a, uh, developed a taste in endocrinology because during whole three years, I used to work in endocrinology department also, sir. Great. So once you uh, decided to do endocrinology, how you started, where you started, how did you do, and how what made you to reach this rank? Sir, initially, uh, I started for preparation of the need uh, in the, after completion of my MD, sir. Uh, during, uh, for the preparation of the need, sir, at that time, it was not sure whether we have to prepare for the specialty or we have to prepare for the general medicine. So, uh, my uh, plan was to st uh, study as a whole, starting from the uh, doing endocrinology. So, initially I studied endocrinology from the Harrison and then I have uh, moved on to other specialties. And then after getting confirmation that it is along only for the endocrinology, then I uh, st started studying uh, Williams too. And uh, in the January, sir, I scored rank 179 in the NETSS. At that time, I was getting DNB endocrinology. But uh, I thought of giving a chance again because at that time it was announced that the NEET SS will be going to held on uh, uh, June of this year itself. Uh, then uh, after uh, AIMS, uh, AIMS exam was also announced in the May, sir. So then I prepared for the AIMS uh, and luckily I got ranked 34 and that. But because of 3-4 marks, I was not able to uh, appear for the interview. So at that time I thought like I can also do it. And I studied, sir, again, uh, after knowing that a need is approaching it. So I give my best for the need, studied as a medicine as a whole. And I scored rank 194, sir. And uh, at that uh, 194 rank, I could get a DM endocrinology at a good institute. But, sir, uh, luckily, sir, by God blessing, the exam was post, uh, counseling was postponed. Postponed, sir, correct. <laughs> yes, sir. But this uh, postponement of the counseling, sir, was a blessing for me. Uh, for the whole, uh, after giving the uh, after the results, I didn't prepare uh, for the aims. I didn't. I was uh, wasn't aware like I have to prepare or I have to give it a chance. But uh, just if the counseling was very much postponed, sir, and the, at that time, sir, just one month before the exams, I thought I should give a chance to it. Uh, might be I get selected, sir. And luckily, sir, I studied for the one month and I have read my notes that I have prepared during the whole journey, sir, and that helped me a lot, sir. So one month, what you did? The game changer is one month. Uh, I mean, what you did before uh, the uh, institute exam, uh, one month. Sir, in that uh, one month, sir, I retrogradely studied. So I, I practice. I used to practice MCQs pertaining to each topic, sir. And then I used to retrogradely study from the Williams, sir. And used to uh, revise my notes and used to see only tables. I just focused on endocrinology. I didn't touch the medicine, medicine part. part. Yes, sir. So, did you complete all the video lectures? Sir, I, instead of completing the video lectures, I, I used to watch only slides, sir. Slides. Sir, because at the, in the last one month, sir, it is not possible to start uh, revising the video lectures. So, I just watched the slides, sir. Sir, after uh, watching the slides, if there is any doubts, I used to see the video pertaining to that slide. Otherwise, sir, I just used to visit the slides, sir. Okay. Now, uh, was your primary exam or NESS exam or NETSS exam? So my primary exam was in ETSS exams. I didn't thought I would be get selected in the AIMS. So I just focused because there are much seats. In the INSS exam, there is only six to seven seats. Other then only you can get selected, sir. But sir, while preparing for the ETSS, initially it was only specialty exam of the January session. So I had read uh, endocrinology thoroughly from the Harrison and Williams, sir. So that was very really helpful for me, for even for just this time also, sir. Excellent.
now uh, what is the number of questions you have attended this exam so uh, the exam pattern was very tough sir but i have uh, seen your video where you said you have to go through all the questions whatever the it is like if you have to get selected you have to appear for all so that thing was in my mind despite knowing the exam is very tough i uh, attempted around 77 questions sir because i thought of if either i i should get selected or it is not useful to get only qualified sir if you are selected then it is only useful sir what is the message that you want to give to the future aspirants of bm endocrinology uh, uh, uh. sir uh, i want to tell them uh, if you are preparing for the neat ss exam if your target is in neat ss exam then addition uh, based classes were sir like those were conducted in the speed institute in the end of the month like re- rapid division classes were there that were very helpful sir like you have you don't have to go through all the um, subject specialty classes uh, even maximum questions were from that uh, classes sir so the students can go through uh, you read their harrison and in the uh, last month they can revise from that otherwise who are preparing for the ins exam they should focus on uh, the specialty the medicine part is a little bit easy it could be solved it, it is not a game changing sir you have to be thorough with your a uh, specialty topic sir so you have to read mala harrison and williams tables you have to be get through thorough with them sir very nice very nice so great doctor and uh, we really appreciate your sincere efforts of uh, getting on to two neat exams and uh, two institute exams and uh, and finally getting on to target what you wanted and uh, it's really wonderful and the sustained the lesson learned from you is a sustained persistent dedicated uh, hard work finally gives good results and end of yes. the day and all through the exams i could see you are in the firing range well within the range getting a uh, decent uh, seat and a good place but still as you have been sustained in that effort and in the same way you have climbed up the ladder to reach the topmost rank and to get into the best institute that you wanted so a lesson to be well learned from your uh, interview today and this video is very very important that all of them could see and could uh, improve Uh, their preparation improve their rank and to end up finally what you have uh, done uh, beautifully once again wish you all the best and all the success for to be a great endocrinology uh, in making and a great endocrinologist uh, uh, in future wish you all the best and all the success thank you sir thank you